I'm Hyena Hufflepuff, and I'm here in the Alaskan Mountain Range. I'm gonna show you how to survive for seven days in this cold and barren land. In this mountain range, the weather is sub-Arctic, and I'm trying to make my journey safely to the Pacific Ocean. Day one. Today, I'm gonna show you how to get down the easiest and one of the safest ways from the mountain because avalanches are often triggered by inexperienced climbers. I've taken this ski stick and broken it in half. I'm gonna use it as a leveling assistant. You don't want to go too fast because this will rip the stick out of your hand and cause an avalanche. But if you go too slow, you may be stuck because the ice will catch you and bring you to a painful stop. And now that I made it to the bottom of the mountain, I'm gonna set up camp. Day two. Yesterday, I set up camp. A severe snowstorm had begun. I managed to find a stable shelter in order to stay safe. Also, I showed you how to get off the mountaintop. And today, I'm gonna show you how to find your way off the glaciers. You're gonna want to find a stream that is flowing downwards. If you're lucky enough, you'll find what is in retrospective an ice cave that runs underneath the glaciers. Before you start wandering in to the cave, you want to make sure that the ice is stable. And if it is, then it should be safe to walk upon. But if it's not, well, slip, fall, and never be found. Day three. After I broke down my camp, I headed out. I came across a bunch of eagles nest. It's prime mating season. Normally, you'll be able to find three to four eggs in one nest, but I didn't find any then. I pulled out my compass to find which way is west, and then I came across a patch of woods where I found a tree with some bear scratch marks. This means that this is bear's territory. Day four. There's normally an estimated amount of 50 bear attacks a year, there once were six hikers in the mountains who went missing, come to find that they were attacked and mauled by bears. And I, still being in bear territory, am trying to be careful not to draw any attention to myself. I found bear droppings, which leads me to believe that there is a berry bush nearby. I wonder by some small bushes that had some wild berries on them. With night falling, I need to set up camp. Day my pathway brought me to a waterfall that looked to be about 200 feet down. And even though I am experienced in climbing and have a safety line, it is still dangerous. So I am going to show you how to get down. You want to be slow and take your time. The adrenaline gets going and people want to just start jumping at random places. And rocks climb beneath their feet. I make it down about two hours later. Once I reached the base of the fall, I set up camp and started a fire with the small amount of flint I had in my pocket. Day six. Last night, my camp was attacked by a black bear. I used my army training and I fought it off with a small knife. I sustained injury on my arm due to the fight, but I haven't stabilized. I make my way out of the forest following a small stream. I shot my flint with my knife to make a spear. I use this spear to catch fish that I'm going to eat. Raw. Day seven. I found the stream to what seemed to be the Pacific Ocean. I've made it. I've made it to my destination. And that is how I survived in the Alaskan mountain range.